You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, RiceGameClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, and everybody else who supports this movement. But dog, but dog, 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 dog. First of all, salute to the NFL Draft. I hope your teams got who they wanted. Um, my Giants, we wanted Devontae Smith. And the Cowboys helped out the Eagles. What type of treason? What type of, I'm on some real murder shit. What, the, 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 when y'all start acting like that, it's cool. I like Kadarius Tony. He got some real smooth moves and I like what he does, but uh, we definitely wanted Devontae Smith. But I want to get into this right quick. How much do you have to hate someone to say what Sue Surf just said about Cortez. I know these two don't like each other. I know they've been going back and forth for the longest time. I know that whenever, you know, when Sue Surf had his stumbles and chokes and shit versus Loaded Lux, I know that uh, Cortez was celebrating, popping bottles, etc., etc., and I know their energy towards each other. But how much do you have to hate someone to even hate when they're successful? Like, I, I knew for a fact, I was like, you know, Surf don't like Cortez. I know he ain't going to have nothing too much good to say about him. Even if he won versus official, Cortez had one of the biggest blowouts of the whole weekend. Like, 3-0, clear, smoked official, made official, who was tall, looked real small. Official looked that big after that battle. But, dog, how much do you have to hate someone to say, um, salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap. You know, Let's Talk Battle Rap podcast. They got always got the news and everything else. On Sue Surf's Caffeine Show, Sue Surf talks about Cortez's performance versus official and said, Misfit is going to let her clip off with Cortez for sure. Some of that ish was put together by Misfit. Bruh, how much do you have to hate someone <laughs> to say something like that? I know you don't like Cortez. I get it. Y'all have been going back and forth forever. I know you said you ain't never gonna battle Cortez. I know that, you know, Cortez is, is his 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 win versus official probably doesn't sit right with you. It probably doesn't sit right with Jazz. I know that's her people, Bardashians, Bardashians, whoop de whoop de boo. But I'm just saying, you have to hate someone on a different type of level. To say that misfit role for the nigga? When you start capping like that, sir, you know what? Bro, come on, son. I, and I rock with Sue Surf. I like his music. I respect what he does on the analytical perspective as far as, you know, talking about the battles, doing face-offs, building his profile. Him and Mozzie had the tape that was dope. You know, the blood cut. I rock with Surf. I like what he does. It's one of my favorites, especially with the music. Like with his music, I feel like he's one of the best as far as battle rappers who have transitioned over to the musical side. But dog, this right here is Bush League. This is Bush League. I don't care how much you hate someone. I don't care how much you don't like what they got going on or the fact that they're even in the tournament. To say something as unbecoming as you're accusing a male of having a female, a male of having a female ghostwriters. And the funny thing is, a lot of these battle rappers, they write together, not like write, sit down and all write together. They spar with each other. People hear their bars. They go back and forth with each other. Cortez did kind of respond, you know, to uh, to what Sue Surf said. I just thought it was really, really demeaning for him to say something like this. I, I, I was like, wow, I didn't even think that. I knew that even though Cortez was doing good, that Sue Surf wouldn't show him no love and wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you but... Cortez did respond. LOL, I gotta laugh. The hate is beyond real. You got the Brotherhood, Bardashians, and a whole lot of gang of rappers that join forces. It's always been me, Misfit, Math Hoffa, Dola. We rock with the family only. Y'all let me help. Y'all get help with writing for everybody. Let me finish my third round. Um. He basically just like pushed it off. And I respect Cortez for that because it's like, come on, son. Cortez has had a career in battle rap that, although he has a lot of longevity, he's been doing this for a while, he never really got the love and admiration that he was supposed to be getting, like like to really be bigged up 
and celebrate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't get that. Like, he don't get a lot of big stage battles, a lot of big names. He's only been on, like, a Summer Madness. I think it was a surprise battle versus New Jersey Twerk. He might have had another couple joints sprinkling their volumes and all of that. But to be a guy that was on the first URL event versus Marv 1, back when they used to have the cameras, the, the, the fucking um, timers on the bottom of the screen, to be there for that long and to still not be getting superstar names on superstar cards, come on, son. Like, there are battle rappers like Twerks and Surfs who fuck up more opportunities than people like Cortez's and people like Danny Myers even get. Them guys couldn't even dream to get the opportunities that people just fuck up and sleep and just stumble through. Did you, did you hear what I said? They don't even get the chance to fuck up the opportunities that a lot of y'all squander. Like they don't even get the, ch they would never get the chance to like blow those opportunities and not, you know what I'm saying? And not like, and not show up prepared and show up with a round and a half. Like this Cortez look right here, this hundred grand, this is his look. He had the album, you know what I'm saying? The resolution joint, he had it all over, the, all over Times Square, the billboards, people was trying to get at him about that. But it was promotion. I've never seen a rapper who don't cause no trouble, work hard, got their own brand, and people hate on him so much. People hate on Cortez so much, it is crazy. I got admiration for him, I hope he does his thing. But you gotta realize, when you're in a certain position, in a certain predicament, your voice has power. Like, you, your voice has, it has a lot of definition. It, it means something. My lady tells me this all the time. You gotta watch the things that you say because certain things that you say, a lot of people subscribe to, a lot of people follow. So when you put that word out there, you got to stand on that. You see what I'm saying? And Surf, you got to, come on, dog. You got to know better than to say, and I rock with a lot of things that you got going on, but dog, I don't know. I, I, I can't rock with this one. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Mm -mm. No, you can't. How can you support that? How can you say, yo, that's what's up? He does? He got a writer? A fucking writer? Of all things, I did not think of that with Cortez. I said, yo. He did his thing versus, uh, he did his thing versus official. He smoked him. You was the one that said official was the bigger draw and that she was going to win. If that, you know, it's more respectable if you got the other MC winning, you pick him to win, uh, you, 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 you put your support behind him, you want them to do their thing. If they don't win, you just say, you know what? I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong some more. There's only one profession where you don't get paid to be right, and that's the weatherman. And, 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 and doing blogs and recaps. That's it. You can just show that. It, but they say, if you ain't going to say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. This is a subject that could have been danced right around. They didn't even have to get into that. But when you say something as negative as you... <laughs> this nigga said, Miss Fig going to get hers off too? She definitely had a hand in that? Bro, you sound crazy. I never felt that way. I, I, and I knew that you could hate someone, but I never knew that this level of hate, with a platform like that, bro, you got a huge platform. You got the most Instagram followers out of probably, there are a lot of battle rappers, not like Hitman Holler niggas who've been on Wild and Out. That's another level of fame. But, it, 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 and you know you ain't never gonna battle him. You never gonna battle Cortez. You would never take a battle with Cortez. You would never, you know you never, that's just something you know you're never gonna do. So why take such a dig at him when he's doing what he's doing? Like, you, he, he's doing what he's doing. He's in the tournament. He has a chance to potentially battle Jack Boy Main and have one battle to be towards two battles away from $100,000. If that man wins that whole tournament at 100 grand, what are you going to say? Misfit won? Misfit wrote that? Nobody. And, and the funny thing is, if the shoe was on the other foot, and one of your peoples was in the tournament, like Jazz or somebody like that. She was wilding on someone. Or if you was in the tournament and you won, how would you feel if he jumped on camera and said, Jazz wrote that for you? She was the one. She wrote your bars for you. That, like, I don't know if y'all understand ghostwriting in battle rap is kind of like steroids. Like, to know someone, if someone has a proven ghostwriter, they don't belong in these type of platforms. They don't belong in these type of tournaments. They don't belong getting these kind of looks. It's just not something that that should happen. Ghostwriting and recycling damn near go hand in hand, but the recycling is just a motherfucker uh, reusing some shit that they done spit before. Ghostwriting, somebody actually pinning bars for you, 
That's not going to... Why do you think so many people reacted the way they reacted when Clean Paper was coming out all last week? Pretty much telling on everybody. Pulling a Nino Brown. Pulling a Nino Brown. I am not going down by myself. You know, good brother. I bought... Like, when he started telling on everybody. Oh, 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 this is bigger than Nino Brown. You pull this bigger than Nino Brown, my nigga. You ain't have to do that. That's some shit that you ain't even have to do. I expect more from Sue Surf. Especially as an MC that's in his position that has, the, that has the power and the influence that he has. I definitely expect more from him, you know what I mean? Because this is just, it's an unnecessary level of hate, you know what I'm saying? There's hate, then there's like hate, 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 hate. Like this is super hate. It's an unnecessary level of hate and you don't even have to be doing that because Cortez is just minding his business. He's not even taking shots at you in the tournament. He probably will now, but he wasn't taking shots at you like, bro. I expect more from you, Sue Surf. And I got a lot of respect for you. I got admiration for you. But you gotta cut the dumb shit, my nigga. Like you can't you can't be out here doing that type of shit. Saying a nigga getting When you start acting like that, cut that shit out, my nigga. Gang. Okay.